Young lady, we appreciate you doing this interview with us. No problem. Could you tell us your name, please? Sherry Dobbins. Sherry? Mm-hmm. Sherry, how long have you been in Gaston County? All my life. All your life? Mm -hmm. Your family from here? Yes. And what family I have left there, yes. They live still live in Belmont. I, I moved to Dallas. Um, lived there for about 30 years. And then became homeless. Your mom and dad still alive? No, my daddy's dead. My mother's still alive. As far as I know, we haven't spoken in years, so... Was you loved as a child? Uh, by my father and grandparents, yes. Uh, sisters and mother, no. I was a baby. I was a brat. Um, ADHD. Uh, still am ADHD, but um, I was daddy's girl, so you know, the other two girls didn't like me too much. What's your uh, favorite childhood memory? Going fishing with my daddy. Are you in addiction? I'm not actively, no. But I have been. What was your drug of choice? Uh, marijuana and alcohol. Kind of. Who introduced you to it? Uh, I actually found out the alcohol through my daddy, and then when we'd go to the hunting camp, his buddy smoked weed, so and they'd they'd throw their joints down. And probably eight nine years old, I was smoking pot. Eight nine year old. Mm -hmm. I, I've tried all of them, but I always went back to that. So you're not doing any drugs now? No. I have a, a seizure disorder now, and I can't. I just it just makes it makes it worse, and they're bad enough as it is. I'm not 15 teas out at one time, things like that. So I tried, but just to see if I could be hard headed and do it, but I can't. My ex husband kicked me in the head 15 times, and five years later, I started having severe seizures. They sent me to Baptist to find out why, because they they could they didn't understand. I was 26 years old when they onset, so I went to Baptist, and they, there's brain damage in the center cortex of my brain. You're still married? No. My kids, my son is 33. His name is Devin, um, lives in Matthews. My daughter's Emily, she's 30. She lives in Matthews. Um, my son took over my daddy's independent countertop business, and he does formica and laminate, things like that on countertops up that way. Um, and my daughter's disabled. Uh, she has a epilepsy and some learning disabilities from being born premature. How long have you been in the street? About six months. What put you here? My ex, uh, I had lived with him for about 23 years, just decided he was going to find somebody else and pulled over one night and said, I'm done. Get out. I've got a new girlfriend. So I got out. Didn't you tell me you had a degree or a yes. college education? Early childhood development. Say that again? Early childhood development. Tell me about that. Um, I just always loved children. I was kind of shunned by my mother as a child and... Um, a teacher in third grade was very abusive along with the principal and I decided then that I would never be mean to a child and want to have fun with them and help them learn you know because that was her problem I was so ADHD I couldn't sit still so I had a problem learning and uh, that's I stuck with that from the time I was eight years old so I graduated and that's what I did. What do you think about this uh, lifestyle? Mm. Uh, I don't know how, how to explain it. It's very close-knit, yet uh, kind of categorized off. That's, that's what I've seen. You know, you fit in with a certain clique or you don't, which is anywhere. But, I mean, I don't like not having power, and I don't like not having water, of course. But, as I said, I was very spoiled. I needed to learn this lifestyle to humble myself. Is this lifestyle hard? Oh, yeah. Tell me how. Um, it's to each their own. Right. And there's no one out here that's going to help you do you. You've got to do it. You know, whereas at, at home with someone else, a partner or whatever, I want to pick up a, a 12 pack of Pepsi on the way home. You'll be lucky to get a, a bottle of water out here during the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's just rough. There's a lot of things that people take for granted. What we see is valuable now. Oh, just a bottle of water, uh, power, running water. Um, car, I mean, being able to get somewhere instead of having to walk, get nothing going. Can't do that out here either. So there's a lot, even the little things, washing clothes, makeup, I mean, doing your hair, all kind of things. I had been with a, a man who, uh, for nearly about 20, 26 years, and we had gone through a rough spell a couple of years prior to that. Um, my daughter, who was mentally impaired, gave birth to a little girl, <clears throat> and Gaston Memorial said that she could not take her home with her. That they would put her in foster care. So automatically, 
he and I took custody, and even though we weren't married, we were able to go before a judge. Our attorney did that for us, and we both got full custody of Noe, the first one that was born. And then 18 months later, she has another one. So we have two babies, and here we are almost 50 years old. Well, we are 50, but and infants, and both it wore us out, and we were both at each other's throats all the time, and he just found somebody younger and more adapt. At this stage in your life, what's the most important thing that you've learned? Humility and humbleness. Not taking so much for granted. I mean, like I said, being able to flip a switch in the morning, you know, and take a shower, and just the simple things in life. Do people kind of look at you funny out here, living oh, in the you're street? you're completely different out here. Tell me about it. Um... Before, if I pulled into the QT up here in my little ragged out Honda Accord, not a problem. But if I go walking up there, you got to walk into a certain door and out a certain door. And the, I, it's crazy. The security guards are on you left and right. And I'm sitting there going, five months ago, y'all were shaking my hand, laughing, and cutting up with me when I came through the door. What's a word of advice you'd give anybody that's thinking about coming to live in the street? Be prepared. I mean... Just be prepared. There's, there's no telling what could or can happen at any minute. I mean, you just have to be pretty numb to a lot of things to be able to tolerate, you know, staying out here and, and you can't go here at this time, you can't go there at this time, and, you know, and things like that. But, I mean, you're put, they, they put people in categories no matter what other people do, and uh, especially at, like, stores, like I said. or um, I can go to the library and kind of get a funny look, but... I'll still sit down and read and things like that. But it's just, it's very, to me, it is hard on the heart because we're, we're human just like the rest of them, you know. And there are so many people out here that I took in my home when my daughter was in Gaston County. And in Dallas, I'm sitting here going, wow, you know, <laughs> what happened to you? Did, did you lose the oomph to get out of here? Because I'm not staying out here. Mm -hmm. but I, I can't. I'm not, I'm not cut for it. With the seizure disorder, too, I've gotten hurt out here twice already, so. Be prepared. What do you mean? Be prepared. Just I'm constantly on the lookout. What's going on here? What's going on there? Um, be prepared for it not to be the easy ride you have when you have your electricity and your water and your hot water and your dishes and food in the refrigerator, all that. Just be prepared. It's going to be rough. Oh, I had it all. I had it all. I had my own cars, two of them, by the way. Two-story home, man of my dreams. Uh, children out of the home and then just in the blink of an eye it all changed and I'm still adjusting still adjusting I've yet to cry but I'm still adjusting what caused the, the what was in the beginning that caused the crumble mm, getting custody of the granddaughters say it again getting custody of two babies I mean we just weren't used to that My, our kids were half grown when we met so so y'all were raising your grandbabies and that's what just started problem mm -hmm. i mean he was gone all the time and i'm here with two having a seizure disorder here with two babies and been told that i can't keep children alone things like that and that broke my heart because i'm going to go back to work in daycare but i could fall and hurt one and i worried about falling and hurting them that's why i walked away a young lady we appreciate this interview